multiplication using arrays. You have learned earlier that an array is a group of objects arranged in rows and columns. And to find the number of objects in an array, we can use repeated addition. This array has five rows and three columns. To find the number of objects in the array, we can add together the number of objects in each row. There are three objects plus three equals six, plus three equals nine, plus three equals twelve, plus three equals fifteen. So we have fifteen objects. As we have learned, we can represent repeated addition using multiplication as 5 times 3. Did you notice something? If you look at 5 times 3, you will find that 5 is the number of rows and 3 is the number of columns. So when we want to find the number of objects in an array, we can directly multiply the number of rows by the number of columns. Have a look at this array. To find the number of objects in it, we can multiply the number of rows, 4, by the number of columns, 7, which is the same as adding 7 to itself four times, and that equals 28. Now, let us try to find the product of 5 times 6 by creating an array. The first factor represents the number of rows, so we draw five rows. This is the first row, second, third, fourth, and fifth. The second number represents the number of columns, so we draw six columns. This is the first column, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Now we count the total number of objects. There are 30 objects. So 5 times 6 equals 30. In this lesson, you learned how to multiply using arrays.